This is the third video that I put together that deals with designing and building um, GUIs in MATLAB. Um, this one deals with callback functions and it really links the other two concepts that were introduced. So first of all you were showing how to position objects on your GUI and then you were showing how to manipulate the properties associated with objects using handles. Um, in this case we're going to see how to manipulate uh, those properties of, of the various objects in your GUI uh, using callback functions. Okay, um, So let's start off by just creating a GUI and our GUI will have uh, a few objects. We have our ellipse object at the top, we have a text box object in the middle and a push button object at the very bottom. And what you'll notice in the code is as those were being created, well as the push button was being created using the UI control function that's uh, built into MATLAB, um, as well as setting up these pr properties here such as the position of the push button and the text that will appear on top of the push button, there is another property down at the bottom called callback. And basically that callback uh, property uh, indicates the function that will be executed whenever the uh, control is manipulated. So for example with this particular uh, GUI when I push this push button um, the function called eg fun will be executed. Okay. Um, so let me just show you the command window. I'll just clear that. Uh, so let's just see what happens when I click on update color. Now I haven't defined the function eg fun yet so uh, I should get an error message okay because that function eg fun which is the callback function associated with this push button doesn't exist so i need to create that and now i deleted that file earlier on just to show you the process that you would have to go through if you're working through this video yourself so i've made some code uh, available down uh, around the middle so at line 45 if you just copy that piece of code and we will create that um, eg fun doesn't exist so we'll create it and we'll just paste the code in there. Now all this code does is display high to the screen okay so basically anytime the button is pressed I will see high being displayed to the command window. Now there are two parameters passed to the function now you don't have to set anything up to do this those two uh, variables or parameters are passed to the function automatically okay and the parameters that are passed are the handle to the object that called the function or that was used to call the function. So in this case the push button is used to call this function. The handle to that object is passed and also what's known as an event associated with the object. Um, so let me just show you that in operation. So we'll have the command window in the background and there's my GUI application. When I click update color I expect high to be displayed and we can see it being displayed over there. So every time I hit the button high is being displayed. Um, so this is kind of key. This is one of the key things about GUI design is that uh, actions associated with various um, um, objects can be controlled using these callback functions. Okay, uh, So maybe I'll edit the callback function just to highlight the fact that there's a handle to the object calling the function uh, being used. So let's maybe just display all the properties associated with the object handle and in this case object handle is a handle to the push button object and while we're at it we'll just display the event as well which in this case will be blank. So if I go back to my uh, command window and then to my GUI when I press this button now I should also see the properties associated with this push button being displayed. Uh, using that get command. We can also see the event is blank and we can see high has been displayed finally. So let's just verify that this is the push button. So it has properties like update color um, is the text. So string, uh, there we go. String is update color. It's a push button and there is the position that we uh, set up when we created or initialized the button. Okay. Um, so now, now we're at a stage where we can uh, display basic uh, properties associated with the uh, object that 
was used to call the function. But what we really want to do with our code is we want to be able to use this object here to control other objects. So in order to do that, we need to pass uh, properties or pass handles to this function, e.g. fun, uh, so that those the objects associated with those handles can be manipulated. So for example, I want to be able to enter blue in this uh, text uh, input object and I want to be able to use the, uh, the, the parameters associated with that object to control this other object up here, the ellipse. So really what I want to do, if I when I click on update color, I want that turn to, to turn to blue. So in order to do that, I need to make sure that um, the handles associated with these two objects, the ellipse and the text input, are passed to the egphone function. So let's just do that uh, first of all, and I'll show you how to do that. So the way to do that is to edit this part of the code as follows. So I'm putting two curly braces around e.g. phone and then I need to specify the parameters that I'm passing. Uh, now I want to pass the handles to the text box and also the handle to the ellipse. So I need to be able to get the string value associated with the text box and I also need to be able to manipulate the color or the face color of the ellipse. So to do that I'm going to pass the handles to those two objects and this is the way that you do it just uh, uh, by updating this line of code as shown and what will happen now is that these two parameters will also be passed when the function is called. Now I need to change my code around slightly because I'm passing these two handles edit box h and ellipse h. But these two handles don't exist uh, until after the button is created. So I need to fix that by cutting out the creation of the button at this point and pasting it in after the, the handles to the other two objects are actually available. So let's just paste that in there. Now, now this is going to pass the two handles that we've created earlier to eg fun but my eg fun if i take a look at the code now i'm just flicking back to the code for eg fun that isn't that's on that isn't accepting the new parameters now i have some example code already written in my basic uh, gui code so and that's at the very bottom i have some code that will implement a function that will behave properly. So let's copy this and we'll paste it into the eg phone. We'll overwrite this. So you can see my new code as well as accepting the the object handle, so that's the uh, handle associated with the object that is used to call the function and uh, the event associated with that object, we also see that we have uh, placeholders for the uh, handle to the text box object and also the handle for the ellipse object and we have then we have access to those two objects and are able to manipulate them and also be able to get information from those two objects the text box and the ellipse so let's go through the rest of the code then what the code is doing is it's taking the string property associated with the text box object uh, via this handle uh, and getting it so that string entered will be red, green, blue, um, or whatever you, it is you want to type. And then what's happening down in the code is we're just comparing the string that was entered into the text box against these fixed strings. And we're then updating this other variable called colval. And colval is just used later on to control the color of the ellipse um, object via this ellipse handle. Okay, so if we enter red, call val is set equal to one zero zero. If we were enter green into the text box, call val will be set zero one zero, and blue will be it'll be set equal to this. In the event that um, the value entered in the text box doesn't match any of these three, then we're going to set the color equal to zero zero zero, which equates to black. And uh, then, as we said at the very end, 
after the uh, at the end of the function the ellipse object is create is updated via this handle to the ellipse object and the face color is set equal to whatever the call val is so let's just save that and see um, this in action so uh, well I need to actually recreate my figure because I I in my basic GUI, GUI I have yet to uh, set up the callback function which will accept the two additional parameters so let's just create that figure and now if I enter blue in here update the color if I enter green in here it should change to green and finally if I enter some unknown it should change to black okay so these are really the, the key key points associated with designing GUIs this idea of having callback functions and passing uh, handles to objects on your GUI via the callbacks are really crucial to developing to developing useful GUIs so if you can get your head around those few concepts you'll be able to design your GUIs I, I will put together one more video that finishes um, changing the size of the um, ellipse uh, I'll put a separate video together on that just to finish up but really you've got all the key concepts uh, covered uh, at this stage and the last video will just reinforce some of those key concepts and show you just another example okay thanks for your attention